Now that's it for sports. Stay with us. Coming up after the break, Gavin Morris has all your local weather details. To finance, and the All Lords closed 10 points lower, our dollar up, buying 76.86 US cents. Now with a look at the weather, Gavin Morris and Gav, this morning felt a lot more like autumn. R32, now available in day-conducted systems. A next-generation refrigerant with a substantially lower impact on the environment. Ensure your next ducted system is a Dakin for pure comfort. Dakin. Good evening, thank you Vanessa. Yes, a real change in season in the air. Clear and cool, a lovely crisp morning to kickstart the day. A break from the heat, very much needed right across the region from the Riverina all the way to the Western Plains and over the Tablelands as we begin with today's temperatures. Let's take a look at the rain over the past 24 hours. That whole system largely skipped over us. We didn't receive much at all. Solid falls throughout northern New South Wales, 60 to 90 millimetres from that big band of storms that moved through. Big rain now falling right throughout the Gulf Country as tropical cyclone Alfred is born. Still a weak system but growing and is connected to the low that is sitting over the southeast. That's propelled north all of that cold air producing the first snow of the season across the Alpine districts but largely clear blue skies right across the majority of New South Wales, the Riverina and the Western Plains. There's another system closing in on the west so getting a taste of the change in season also will be the Southwest Land Division and Perth throughout tomorrow. We're under the spell of this slow moving high. It's creeping its way out over the Tasman. Light variable winds locally as Alfred sits over the Gulf Country trying to get stronger. So very cool in the west for Perth. Adelaide, no shortage of heat, plenty of that spilling down from the centre. Lovely conditions throughout the capital. Melbourne had its coldest February day in about 12 years yesterday, giving you a good idea of just how chilly it was. Sydney looking at sunshine, beautiful conditions. Sydney needs a break from the heat as well. Brisbane fairly warm throughout tomorrow. Looking at tomorrow's forecast rain locally, we're not expecting anything it's going to be another dry day across the entire region. Uh, there's our forecast winds and thermoscale. Uh, so light variable winds mostly out of the east southeast and you can see a little bit of warmth there throughout the day as temperatures begin to drop as we move into the evening period. So the actual forecast looks like this single digit start a little bit chilly nice and cool enjoying the better sleeping conditions that's for sure then warming mostly into the high 20s right across the Riverina and towards the slopes temperatures also creeping up as we take a look further north right across the western plains and the tablelands we should see the mercury climb into the low 30s throughout the west and towards the mountain areas a little bit cooler. Let's go only expecting tops of about 25 throughout tomorrow. Orange into the high 20s. Sun's rise at approximately 6.40 and down at about 5 to 8 as that moon wanes away. Taking a look at that long range forecast. More cool nights but it is going to heat back up as we take a look at Wagga's weather over the coming days. No rain in sight at this point for Wagga but we should see some showers reach the tablelands by the time we get to the weekend. There's another change that's going to push through so also warming up in the coming day coming days across the western plains the heat back on back into the mid to high 30s for the next couple of days and towards the weekend when that change comes through producing some limited falls not expecting much rain at all throughout Dubbo and surrounds so overall we've got cooler nights clear days on the way plenty of sunshine as the heat rebuilds thanks Gav that's nine news I'm Vanessa Ahanlin good night